Hello, everyone. My name is Slavomir. Um, but I will talk about it in the next slide. Uh, let's see the subject of today's topic. It's a challenges and solutions for new developers in the Filecoin, uh, Filecoin ecosystem. Uh, my name is Slavomir Pasko. I'm CEO and founder of Neti. Uh, we are a blockchain development boutique from Poland. We specialize in blockchain solutions. Like five years ago, we switched to be fully key into the blockchain. And we did several tasks for Filecoin ecosystem already. So let me introduce the task first we made. And then I believe this is a good mandate to talk about why we are able or we have unique viewpoint to share with you about new developers introduction to the Filecoin ecosystem. So let's start from our case studies, uh, aka developers journey in Filecoin ecosystem. Uh, what we did, um, our latest job actually is a KYC portal. KYC portal is a solution which allows you to start being authenticity of users of the Filecoin ecosystem. Why we need it? Uh, because some people prefer to stay low, stay under the hood, and they may act at the same time as storage providers as well as clients. So it may go to, it may lead to bad behaviors. To avoid such situation, KYC is a good procedure. We started simply with file, uh, Git file, so it's done not fully by us or it's not fully compliant um, KYC process, but definitely the good direction. And one of the tasks we performed lately. Um, another one is a compliance report. Uh, compliance report is the same. Um, it allows you to understand how assigned data cap is used uh, and it allows you to verify if uh, the given allocators is allocating the data cap. Of course, you will see more details like, uh, like uh, how much uh, was used or um, when it was used or how, how quick someone spent the data cap. But, but mainly it's uh, about the first uh, attribute I said. Uh, another task is a bot for allowance management. So um, it's create, actually it create proposal to revoke granted data cap. Data cap. Uh, if during some period um, the space wasn't used, it creates automatically proposal to revoke remaining data cap. It doesn't revoke it. It just start the process to make aware the um, in industry, not industry, to make aware the ecosystem that something actually wrong is starting going on. Um, another task is uh, CID checker report. Actually, it's improvements. It's the same um, for storage consumers as compliance report for uh, allocators. For this report, uh, which was already generated, we have added one but crucial attribute. Uh, it's information about retrievability, retrievability of the data. Uh, in other words, what percent of the data is available for the download? I believe it's a, one of the most important metrics uh, in this case. Uh, meta allocator is another small, not small task. Actually, it's one of the task which our developers, our engineers are most proud of and most hungry to continue the work on. So meta allocator is a smart contract which will act in the middle um, between root key holders and allocators. It will partially automate their job uh, and it opens new possibilities. It opens new possibilities uh, for the ecosystem check. So system automatically will enforce the rules, for instance, how data cap can be, can be allocated to clients. Or it can force the schedule, like data cap will be shared or passed in pieces depending on the customer behavior. Or it won't be granted at all if the previous one wasn't used. So this kind of uh, man in the middle, that proxy, will 
be able to automate that processes, and I believe it's a significant change for the future. Um, the next, next job was uh, SSA boat improvements. Um, in the past, the boat automatically started uh, and refill, started refill the process, mm, but it won't, in the past it won't work well. It didn't work well. So we changed the process, we rewrite the process, rewrote, rewrote the process, and at the, at, the, at the moment, it starts uh, not automatically, it starts manually, but the rest of the process is done almost automatically. Mm -hmm. As I know, there was some small issue found today in that process, uh, but we are already working on that. A um, few more, which, which, which I don't have slides, uh, slides, is Allocator Tech website, which we continue supporting it, it's also, Data stats are your website where we starting building new functionalities, adding new functionalities. I believe those gives us a good mandate to talk about what's good and what can be better in the ecosystem of Filecoin. So, um, usually when developers talk about documentations, they complain, and I have to say it's not bad. It's not bad, really. We were able to start the work. So it's thing already. We were able to, after some time, after several days, I will talk about later why, uh, start work. So we were able to, based on the documentation, do what was needed. So this is plus, definitely. But <laughs> there are also challenges. Um, the biggest one, um, is a lack of test environment, development environment. There is no tools like Ganashi or Anvil, which are available for Filecoin file system, Filecoin ecosystem. So to be able to start the work, you need to spend a week or more to create development environment. It's a huge amount of time, and for some people it may be too much. So definitely it was one of the biggest challenges. Uh, so to clarify, part of this is that you were interacting with built-in actors, mm -hmm. so you needed a full chain, not just an EVM. In, in our case, we will need to uh, recreate whole environment. Maybe not for everyone it's necessary, but w for tasks we, we, we took, it was necessary. Um, Another, not issue, but place to improve is uh, resources availability. Uh, especially when I spoke to Kasper, one of, one of our lead developers, he said the Go libraries are great. Everything is clear, quality is really high. But for JavaScript, it, it's not as good. It, it, it don't, do not compile, it do not, do not build, they do not play well with current bundlers for the modern JavaScript. They, the number of libraries is too big, there should be just one, not, five, not 50, and some of them obsolete, some of them not maintained. This is another challenge because for newbies in the ecosystem, they don't know which one they should use. There is no map which direct them, which show them for this purpose, use this library. Most of them are not supported, sorry. Uh, the last point in this, this part is a streamlining onboarding process. Uh, in our case, well, we actually have, have had no onboarding. So everything what we figured out was mostly on our own with help of a uh, few people, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but for you, for every developer, it would be way easier if it will be even in written form. How, where to get help, where to ask for a particular type of resources, who's responsible for that, who maintain particular type of development or whatever. It could streamline and keep the developers involved in the ecosystem of Filecoin. Okay, uh, so. Based on what I said, I guess solutions and recommendations are pretty simple things. 
Um, first one is just to build something which will allow us to easily start developing in the FileCon ecosystem, which allows to build an environment in one day or less, which do not force people to compile from source code on, or wondering what will be the next, next obstacle in my path. Uh, it will definitely speed up because five, seven days for many people is way, way, way too long, too much time to spend on R&D, internal play. We don't know at this stage what will be later. So really it would be very helpful. Uh, second thing, I think also kind of uh, obvious at this stage, uh, we would suggest to build one library as it was said in the Lord of the Ring, one, one library to rule them all. Uh, but really, yes, one library which will explain where, which aspect should be addressed, how they should be addressed, um, and maintain them, and make them playing well with modern framework like React, like Vue, like other frameworks which are currently used. Because in some cases we spent days on being able to bundle a file because some libraries are not supported anymore. Uh, summary of my speech. The learning curve of Filecoin ecosystem is high, is step. Uh, fortunately for us, we have engineers who love that type of challenges. But if the ecosystem want to develop themselves, want to grow, it will be easier if people who don't have such fighting uh, attitude also would be able to join the ecosystem and use it. Thank you very much. <laughs>